Great, so now I've got our circuit with our custom part. Let's start assigning some footprints to these parts so we can build a PCB. So if we go up here to, we could annotate first, but I'll just go straight to assign PCB footprints and then it'll automatically annotate the parts for us. This is what assigns the, the reference designator to the parts. So you'll see now all the parts are numbered and we're going to open up our footprints. So let's start with the uh, connector. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a Molex connector. Quite fond of the Molex microfits. So we're gonna uh, apply this footprint to our connector. So that was J1. You can see it's just a generic connector, but this is this is our foot uh, all the parts that we have in our schematic. These are our libraries, and these are the parts that are inside those libraries. So if we go to select our part connector, and we can go down to connector Molex, and then find under this very intimidating list, the Molex microfit. And so what was the part number that I was looking at? It was a 043045612. Sometimes it's easier to just look at these descriptions. So we, I know that I want a two by three. To help us out, we can right click and view the footprint. So that's a surface mount version. Good thing I didn't select that. That's the one I want. And all I, all I need to do is double click that and we can see that the footprint has been applied. Uh, for the capacitor, easy again. I'll just go to capacitor. We'll make it a surface mount capacitor and select a 0805 metric. For the diode, same again. Diode, surface mount, and quite fond of the SMA package for those. And just rinse and repeat, I'll do the same for the LED and the resistor. If you have many parts, you can select all of them by shift clicking or control clicking and then the next selection you make, that footprint will be applied to all of those. So if you have a bunch of resistors, you can just apply the footprint in bulk to all of those. And now you can see we've got a problem. We don't have a footprint for our span O2A. For the time being though, I'm going to apply and continue and open up the PCB. So I've just opened up the PCB from this tool here and we have an empty screen at the moment but if I click the update from schematic we can update the PCB with the parts that we've assigned footprints to. So you can see these are all the footprints that we selected and if we go to view we can view the 3D model of the PCB and you can see our parts just sitting there unrouted at the moment. The only thing is we don't have a footprint for our custom part that we made, so we'll have to make that next.